Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to look at a five axis application uh, dealing with a, a CNC router uh, and we're gonna do some polishing uh, for some stone. So I just have this rectangular shape here with um, some radiuses in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna extrude uh, this model here. So I'll do extrude boss, select my profile, and then I'm gonna give it the height of the boss. So we'll say maybe it's uh, uh, two and a half inches uh, thick, okay? And uh, what we want the tool to do, the polishing tool, is to come around and to follow these corners here, okay? So in doing so, I've already uh, set up my uh, machine and I've already set up my stock and my zero position. So now what I'm gonna do is just load in a morph between two curves. This is the strategy I'm gonna use. From here, uh, there's some inputs that I need to, uh, like some drive surfaces and uh, drive curves that I need to define. So I'll go to my drive surface and I'm gonna grab all these uh, surfaces that are on the outside because that's what I want the tool to follow. Okay, so I have all those highlighted now. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to do is select my uh, upper curve. So I'm going to come through here and use my surface edges. Uh, you can use um, you can use wireframe as well, uh, but in this case I'm using surface edges. So I have the top defined. Now I'm going to define the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to come in here and select the uh, curves that are on the bottom. Uh, once those are set up, I'm just going to compute my tool path and then this will generate the path uh, to have the tool uh, come along and cut this profile. Now, of course, you can adjust your step down and step over. Let's launch uh, a simulation and take a look. So again, this is a uh, uh, five axis router. Uh, let's see. You can get an idea of what our um, setup looks like. So we have this uh, profile that we want to follow. Kind of slow this down a little bit and go back to the material focus here. And you're going to see how the tool is going to come around. Of course, again, you can adjust how, how close to the part it stays or how far away from the part. But the real thing that we're looking for it to do here is to, uh, you know, follow this profile around this radius. So, um... If I load up the machine simulation, you can see how the the head's gonna uh, rotate, you know, as it's following around that corner. So, and it's gonna go back and forth. So you'll go back and forth to uh, to follow that profile. So, uh, just a quick uh, quick video on some five axis toolpath. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, please reply back to the Facebook, the thread, or the YouTube page. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.